Today on the IoT Show, we have a special um, set of guests and a special episode. Uh, we have people coming from the Pizza Cat company. Um, they have a little problem with the delivery of pizzas, and we're going to do some uh, you know, um, demonstration of how to use a remote monitoring solution accelerator in order to solve the problem of the cold pizza. Hi everyone, this is Olivier, your host on the IT Show. Uh, today we'll uh, do a walkthrough of the remote monitoring uh, solution accelerator. And uh, today I have Ashley and DT to do that on the show. And they're coming actually with a very interesting demo. Um, they are running a company which is called Pizza Cat, right? And they pride themselves of delivering pizzas on time hot. However, it seems you guys have some problems. Uh, with pizzas not arriving really hot. And so basically you need to have a better grasp of what's going on, tracking your deliveries and um, you know, not having to refund your customers. So we'll see during this uh, show how we have been using the remote, or how you have been using the remote monitoring uh, solution accelerator um, to deploy a solution in a matter of minutes and start monitoring what's going on with your delivery of pizzas. Thanks for coming guys. Thank you. Thank you. So Ashley, DT, you both are part of the remote monitoring or actually solution accelerators team. Yeah. Yep. Um, and um, well, I'll, the floor is all yours. Let's do that demo. Sure. Okay. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Aditi. Uh, I'm the Pizza Cat company owner, and I'm having a serious issue because my customers are getting cold pizzas and it's making me pay them a lot of money because my guarantee is still having perfect pizzas at the perfect temperature. <laughs> And I'm Ashley, and a Solution Accelerator product manager, and I'm here to help Aditi set up her custom remote monitoring solution for her Pizza Cat company. Okay, Ashley, what do I do? How do I get started? All right, well, calm down. <laughs> we got this. So let's go to our Azure IoT Accelerators website here, and we'll go through our different uh, solution accelerators here and figure out which one's best for your company. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so let's look on the first screen here. So our first one here we have is our remote monitoring solution. So this is for addressing asset management scenarios and having visualizations with it. Okay. Our next one is our connected factory solution, which is to manage modern uh, factory floor and connecting your manufacturing devices to the cloud. Mm -hmm. The next one we have here is predictive maintenance or learn how to optimize your systems based on machine learning algorithms. And then our last one here is we have device simulation, which is how you would scale test your IoT solution before deploying to production. Yep. But which one do I use? Well, it's just getting to that, okay? <laughs> Remote monitoring will be the perfect solution for you. So let's go ahead and deploy and create one of those. I'll click try now. Yep. So this is our deployment page. So you need to have a subscription to do that, right? Yep. So Aditi, I've already hooked you up with a free Azure subscription trial that you can go ahead and see if this is something that you would like to go ahead and go forward with. Nice. So we're going to go do a basic deployment. Let's go ahead and use the .NET language. And you're going to call it the pizza demo. And let's just choose the Visual Studio Enterprise as our subscription. So that's what I set you up with. Thanks, Ashley. Yeah. And go ahead and choose um, whichever region you'd like. Um, usually, you'd pick a region that's closest to you. And you need to pick a unique name, right? Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, we might have had another pizza demo person come through. Is that my competitor? It's dog, dog pizza. And for those of you watching at home, you can see that on the left here, we tell you uh, ahead what you're going to go ahead and deploy in, in your resource for you. So go ahead and click Create a Solution. Awesome. Now what? OK. So once this solution is done deploying, let's go ahead and look at the out-of-the-box solution that we have. So when you first deploy a remote monitoring solution, you'll be taken to this dashboard here. And we have different things as it comes right out of the box. So we tell you um, the different simulated devices we've created on your behalf. We have Azure Maps here to show you where your devices are located. We have alerts in the bottom left corner, so that's to tell you in case anything has gone wrong. And then we have telemetry powered by time series insights here, so you can watch how your devices are doing over time. Wow. And, and that's the default like, remote monitoring solution you get, but all yep. that is customizable, right? Yep, so our whole solution is fully customizable, both on the front end and on the back end. So each of these services can be plug and play with whichever you need to use for your unique scenario. Okay. So how am I going to do that? This is showing me chillers and elevators. It's not showing my pizza vans. How okay. am I going to do that, Ashley? OK. So don't worry, Aditi. This, this solution is fully customizable. So I'm going to go ahead on your behalf and go ahead and create this for you. Wow, thanks so much. Let's pause and do that right meow. And voila, I'm done. 
Whoa, this looks super different. I see the light background, and it even, even has my company name and my logo. Yep, and that's not all. I went ahead and connected one of your pizza trucks to it, and it has the temperature of what your pizzas currently are within that truck right now. Whoa, where can I see that? So we go ahead and click our devices. Ah, OK. And you'll see that we first have the temperature of the pizza, and then we also have our different trucks that I've enabled for you. Amazing, thanks. So first, let's click on the rules page, and let's go ahead and create a rule for you um, that tells you kind of what the temperature of your pizza is in one of your pizza trucks. OK. So first, you're going to go to the rules page, and in the top right corner, you're going to click New Rule. So you're going to go ahead and enter a rule name. So what, what is your normal temperature of a pizza? Uh, I think it's about 100 degrees I like to keep it at in the truck. OK, so let's go ahead and name it something of the sort um, that says you're going to monitor the temperature of the pizza. Temperature too high. And then go ahead and enter your description. Temperature goes above one, oh, below 100 degrees. It would be temperature too low. Oh, yes, temperature too low. Thank you. You're good. <laughs> and then you're going to go ahead and choose uh, which you want to apply this to. What are these different groups here? So you have your different <laughs> device groups here. Um, we have one for your vans, and we have one for the actual pizzas yourself. So which one do you want the rule to be applied to? I guess I would want to know when my pizzas are definitely too cold. OK. And then what's your calculation that you're going to use for this? So I would want to know immediately that my pizzas are too cold so I could fix the problem. So okay. I'm going to choose instant. OK. And you're going to choose a temperature to be? Less than 100 degrees. OK. And let's go ahead and say that this is a critical warning because we wanted to make sure that our users know ASAP if their pizzas are going to be too low or too high. Awesome. So now do I click Apply? Yep. And we'll see here that we have our rule, and it's been immediately applied to those pizzas. Great. Now what? OK, so let's go back to the dashboard, and let's monitor this rule and see if it triggered anything. Ah. Oh, no, look. My pizzas are too cold. Look, an alert has been triggered. What do I do? OK, well, let's go ahead and acknowledge that we have saw the alert, and let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and fix this remotely through a remote monitoring solution. Great. How do I acknowledge it? OK, so let's go ahead and click on it. OK. And then you'll be taken to our maintenance page here. So here, once the alert comes up, you can go ahead and acknowledge that you see that an issue is going on, and then we can try and run a job on the actual truck remotely to see if we can bring up the temperature. Wow, cool. So I don't even have to go there in person and fix the temperature? Nope, and you don't have to call them to pull over anything. You can fix it immediately without the driver even knowing. That's amazing. I know. OK, so we've clicked it, and let's go ahead and click Acknowledge. And then let's go ahead and run a job on this. So to run a job, let's go to our devices and then choose the delivery truck that you want to run this job on to increase the temperature. How do I know which of these trucks it is? So in the top left corner, you see that we're looking at all devices, and we want to just look at your trucks. So let's go ahead to Pizza Van 1, because that's the one that I had decided to connect to the monitor to. OK. So you see that pizza truck, or the pizza van, has the delivery truck and the pizza within it. So we're going to head and click the truck, and then we're going to click Jobs at the top, and we're going to go ahead and run a method. And you're going to select the method that you want to do. Oh, increase cargo temperature. Yep. And Easy. then you can run a job. Increase temp. And then we scroll down and we click Apply. And instantly, we have already sent a job to the truck to say, you need to increase your temperature because your pizza is getting too low. So this is going to make the temperature go up automatically? Yep, just like that. So if you actually go back to your dashboard, Well, look, it looks like it worked. That's awesome. Thanks so much. You saved my pizza. No problem. Glad we made a perfect team. Awesome, guys. I get a hot dinner. <laughs> 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 awesome. Well, that was a nice walkthrough of what the remote monitoring solution can provide for someone who actually wants to have their business under control, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, Awesome. Thanks, guys, for coming up on the IT show for this cool demo. I hope you can have more of that because you're actually putting the bar pretty high here. Aww. Right? And so I'm looking forward to the next one. Thanks awesome. for watching the IT show. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Thanks.